Hello friends! Summer is coming, or as they said in the medieval days, summer is coming in, and I have no bathing suit. Well, they didn't say that in the medieval days, I don't think, but I'm saying it now because it is the truth. I have no bathing suit. All I have is a pregnancy bathing suit with a really floppy belly bit, which I don't fancy on wearing. I got rid of my old bathing suit because it felt like a straight jacket for my boobs. It just pushed them down and it was really uncomfortable. So I have decided to make my own bathing suit. I have bought a vintage 1930s knitting pattern, which I am very excited to try out. Can you tell? I'm all oh, so excited. For this bathing suit, I will need cotton. And if you watch my yarn sorting video, then you know that I have forbidden myself from buying new cotton uh, until I've used up half of all my stash. Well, I have not used up half of all my stash, but I really want to knit that bathing suit because if I wait until I have used up half of my stash, then summer will be long gone, long past, and I will not have had a new bathing suit. I have broken my vow and I have ordered new cotton online. I really wanted to buy biological, eco cotton because the cotton is very polluting you know, the process in which cotton is har harvested, made, uh, grown, can be very taxing on the environment. So I made a point of buying biological cotton. This, however, meant that I could not get the exact colors I wanted because the selection that I had, which was within my budget, meant the, that I did not have all the colors I wanted to choose from. So what I did was I made some rather hasty sketches of the swimsuit and tried out some different color combinations. And in the end, I just went for something else entirely. <laughs> I wouldn't call this process a waste of time though, because it did help me to sort of get my thoughts together and make a visual representation of the bathing suit and help me make my choice because I also this also made me realize what I didn't want. So it was a valuable step, I think, in the whole process and I do not consider it a waste of time. But I saw the blue colors online and I just fell in love with the blue colors. I fell in love with the blue yarns, so I used a darker blue and a lighter blue and some gray for the the, the dark stripe in the middle of stripe sequences, things. Is that the mailman I hear? Wasn't the mailman. A few days later, however, my yarn did arrive. This, as you can see, sparked much joy because yarn is in fact joy in string form. beginnings of the legs. These are joined by knitting the first leg, then casting on the number of stitches, knitting the second, thus forming the beginnings of a gusset. How did I manage this? Oh wait. Knitting with baby is always an adventure. I started knitting the skirt panels. This one's almost done. And these knit up real quick, which is real nice after the first bit of the bottom bit <laughs> took such a long time to complete. And this is nice and quick. Hi. 
My name's Bluebeard. What's up? <sighs> anyway. Okay, so fast forward and we have this. I finished the first the front piece. Doesn't quite fit into the frame, does it? That's better. Finished the front piece. So far the dimensions all seem to fit. Excuse me. And um I'm really, really very, very happy with how it's turning out. It's uh, it's looking looking good, I think. I am not normally a fan of uneven stripes. Like if if I do stripes, I want them to be exactly each stripe has to be the same thickness. But this one has kind of won me over. I really like these. Maybe because they're so vintagey. They have just this vintage thing. Also, I must say, I I find the... because I, I've now started with the back, which is identical to the front, so that's kind of boring. But this piece, the bottom piece, is just the most boring piece to knit. It is not fun or interesting or whatever. It's very boring, 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 because you get to the, the gusset that you're narrowing the gusset down, 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 and then you get to the point where it's narrowed enough and you just have to knit. You have to knit 40 rows. And I don't know, I mean, I'm, I don't mind 40 rows, but these just seemed like there was no end to them. Oh, and, and anyway, I'm so glad this is over. Maybe it's just the thought that this all is, is lost beneath the skirt panels anyway, that you're like, you feel it's kind of pointless knitting it. But then again, of course, it's not pointless because but you know, you, you know that this is all going to get covered anyway, so you're, I guess that's maybe what what, what just um, what I found very tedious about it. Anyway, this so this bit is done and I'm now knitting the... start of knitting the skirt panels. Here it is, the skirt panels. You, knit, you can knit these up fairly quickly if you don't make a ton of stupid mistakes and have to start over and over and over again, like somebody we know. Uh, anyway, from here on onwards it, it all gets so much more exciting because these skirt panels you knit them up in a jiffy they're not they don't take long at all i mean if i didn't have anything else to do i could easily finish three in one day easily so and then once the skirt panels are done it gets really exciting because then you get to knit them onto the onto the, the the rest and then it's all in one piece because i hate it when i have lots of pieces lying around it's it's i don't know it's grating but then i can sort of, you know, you have these three, you put them together on a needle, you put the bottom bit behind it and then you knit them. You knit uh, like the dark stitch and the light stitch together and then it's sort of, it's attached to the, it's a very elegant way I think of attaching it. It's very nice. I'd never done that before. Every new knitting project I do, it's just, it's funny, it has something new that I have never done before. I mean, all my previous knitting projects till now have all had elements in them that I had never done before, so I feel like I'm learning a lot of new things, which is nice. It's a good feeling. Anyway, I still have a lot of work to do. Sometimes things take so long, and then sometimes you just have a lot of time all of a sudden, and you can go, 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 and then it's done. And I'm sort of hoping that I'm gonna hit one of those things, like a fast forward, and then it's done. Because as much as I like knitting this, I really want to be ready with my bathing suit when the, the good weather does start to return and maybe I'm being very optimistic here but it's been dreary and rainy for so long now that it can't stay like this all summer. Can it? Anyway, I've also decided upon something and I am trusting you 
I need you. I need you to help me remember this. I, I want to make a new bathing suit every year from now on. So this year it's this knitted 1930s. Uh, next year I think maybe a 1920s sewn bathing suit because I have seen patterns for those online and I really want to try those. Perhaps I might even do one this year. Maybe. Re maybe. I don't... Maybe I'm just being foolish now. I have enough projects as it is. But, you know, maybe. Just... Just maybe. Well, once again we've reached that exciting time where we're gonna knit the two pieces together. This was one of those things that I don't believe I'd ever done before, so it was nice to to learn something new. Let's see. Ah, camera focus. That is better. Except that I just audibly heard my hair elastic snap. Just... <laughs> These are crap. Anyway. Yeah, it's just, I did my hair in a ponytail because my, my hair is terrible. It's So let's get started knitting it together. So exciting. Because then all those loose pieces become one big piece. Which is so much better for my peace of mind. Ha ha, see what I did there? Uh, it is kind of fiddly though. So I'm, while it is exciting, it's also slow and tiresome. I'm going to attempt, oh, I have to cut this. Scissors, scissors to the rescue. There we go. I have so much scissors because I'm always losing them. So I've, over the course of, oh, I, <laughs> I just completely got off the wrong strand. What? Why? Just why? Oh, this is unbelievable. Un-be-freaking-leavable. I'm not going to continue in the dark blue. I am continuing in the light blue. Why on earth am I cutting off the light blue? <gasps> oh wow! <sighs> just, it'll be okay. It will all be okay. It's just those tiny things make it all just a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. Oh well. Such is my lot in life. I never stop to think about things before I do them. This isn't pretty. I'm not gonna win any prizes for elegant, elegant knitting. Elegant knitting in action. Elegant knitter. I'm not an elegant knitter. <laughs> Just like with the front panel, I have now two stitches of dark blue and one stitch of light blue. Um. Made exactly the same mistake. Okay. Doesn't really matter that much. I'm just gonna knit these two as if it were one stitch and it won't really matter for the overall fit, I think. Just one stitch, you know. If it would be five or ten, or then I would definitely be doing it all over again. But one stitch extra, no. No, just no. I'm not that much of an ant lover. So, now we'll proceed to knit with the light blue. Light blue. And then the excitement of knitting stripes. Oh. <sighs> because the the last two days have been really hot here. This time right now I'm just sweating like crazy. <laughs> I can't be bothered to move it all downstairs because I've got all my stuff here. My my sh my shooting gear and stuff. Oh well. Anyway, on with the knitting because my battery is almost uh, gone and I don't want this to all be for nothing. So, bye bye. Guess what? I made another mistake. I wasn't supposed to join these two just yet. I'm supposed to first join them by knitting in light blue and then after I've knitted about this much, then I was supposed to join it with the dark blue, so I had to do magic to get this from, from there to here, and uh, man, today is just not a good day. Anyway, it, I refuse, I, re I absolutely refuse to let this beat me.
I mean, I've come so far. I have come so far. If anything, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish this. And I'm going to prance around in my bathing suit before the summer is over. Mark my words. This will not, not beat me. This will not... How oh, well. Just... But sometimes you just want to go like... Ah! Enough already! Why can't things just work out? Why can I not think? Why can I... Why, can, why do I assume that I already know the pattern because I've did it once? That was weeks ago. I need to realize that I still have to look at every step I'm doing when I'm knitting something that I've already knitted before. And I... When will I learn? When? I mean, I turned 40 yesterday. When am I ever gonna learn? I, I feel like it should have happened by now. Well, excuse the little drama queen at first. Upwards and onwards. <laughs> bye bye. It is almost done. I've sewn the two pieces together, sewn the edges of the skirt together, and I have woven in a ton of ends. If you hear the noise, it's um, my daughter who has gotten a hold of the the diaper wipes? Is that the word? The wipes. So I should probably go and take them away from her now. Like I said, I've woven in a ton of ends. Now all I have to do is cut them off. And I've tried it on. It's I am kind of long-waisted, I guess, so it doesn't fit me entirely in the length. So for once, I am glad that I thought things through and instead of casting off when the pattern told me to, I kept these stitches on a safety pin because I thought I might have to fiddle with them a bit to make them fit and I'm so glad I did because now I can just knit one or two rows more on every strap. It'll just fit me a little bit better. So for all the dumb mistakes that I made during the making of this, this is not one. This was a smart thing to do. So, you know, focus on the positive. I did something smart. Yes. And you know how you go when you're almost done and you're like, yes, I'm almost done. Drink some hot. That's what you thought. Wait, what? Go on. Read the very, very last sentence. Go on. Come on, read it. Sew up the side. Sew up the side. And shoulder seams. And work a row of double crochet around the neck and armholes. Also, the skirt edge to finish. Get cracking!
my friends, can we take a moment to realize that there's still a whole month of summer left and this bathing suit is done. What? Okay, all joking aside, I'm really happy with how this turned out and maybe I will make this into an annual thing where each year at the end of May, I will knit or sew or crochet myself a new vintage bathing suit. Maybe. I am Bluebeard. <laughs> I'm Bluebeard. I am. Hello. What? How you doing? My name's Beard. Bluebeard. <laughs>